and Tron Singleton was born in 1975 in East Dallas, Texas. At seven years old, he was writing poetry. By the age of 15, he was already performing in front of audiences. Some years later, he decided to follow his dreams of becoming a rap superstar and made the move from Texas to Los Angeles, California. While in the City of Angels, he suffered a major setback. He was out celebrating his 24th birthday when a drunk driver crashed into him. He was banged up pretty bad. Antron suffered several injuries, including a broken neck. He was constantly in pain. The pain meds he was prescribed weren't strong enough. That's when he turned to PCP, otherwise known as angel dust. PCP is a hallucinogenic drug. Those with experience with the drug reported mild positive effects such as calmness and euphoria, while others experienced hallucinations, memory loss, and bizarre behavior. In 2002, a couple years after the car accident, Antron, who was now going by the stage name Big Lurch, was hanging out at his friend Thomas Moore's apartment. Thomas lived at the apartment with his 21-year-old girlfriend, Tanisha Yaseis, and her two small children. They weren't home at the time, so Big Lurch and Thomas decided to do some PCP. At some point, Big Lurch left the apartment, but returned later. Still high, he banged persistently on the door. Thomas's girlfriend, Tanisha, answered and told him her boyfriend wasn't home. This caused him to go wild. He burst through the front door and began to feverishly attack Tanisha. He grabbed a knife from the kitchen and began to stab her over and over and over. He then proceeded to carve open her chest so deep that her lungs were exposed. After Big Lurch was done mutilating the innocent young woman's body, he stripped down naked and ran outside. A female neighbor was also outside and noticed the naked man drenched in blood running from Tanisha's apartment. She hurried over to check if her friend was okay, but it was too late. She literally stepped into a horror scene a sight you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. She quickly called 911. The police showed up and found Big Lurch, bloody and naked, barking up at the sky. He was arrested and thrown behind bars. While behind bars, authorities conducted a series of tests. One of them was an analysis of his stomach contents. They decided to do that test because when they found Tanisha, she had bite marks on her face and liver, and she was missing a lung. The results concluded that Big Lurch had another human's blood and flesh in his stomach. Most likely, it belonged to Tanisha. Big Lurch eventually went to trial for the murder. The judge threw out his insanity plea because in California, being high on drugs doesn't constitute insanity. The jury deliberated for just one hour and came back with a guilty verdict. He was found guilty of murder and aggravated mayhem and sentenced to life in prison on November 7, 2003. After his conviction, his record label had the audacity to release his album. There's a song on there titled, I Did It To You, that mentions him being a vampire and that he can't pass on fresh meat. Yeah, creepy. He did an interview with DJ Lab from prison and discussed that horrible day. His story was vividly different than what was reported. He claims that he remembers being at a party with friends doing PCP and then waking up two weeks later behind bars and charged with murder. His belief is that he was set up by his record label. Believe it or not, he's not the only one that thinks that. Tanisha's mom also believes there's more to the story and that Big Lurch deserves another trial. If you want to hear the full version of his story, you can check out the documentary called Rhyme and Punishment. I was able to find it and watch it for free on Tubi. There's also a few clips of Tanisha's mom expressing how she feels about the situation. I did watch the entire thing and I thought it was pretty interesting. Go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think.
It's so unfortunate that Tanisha Yasez, a 21-year-old mother of two, lost her life. Not because she did anything wrong, but because she was at the right place, but at the wrong time. One could argue that her boyfriend was the one that put her in harm's way, but we won't play the blame game. Thankfully, the person that committed the crime is in prison for the rest of his life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, be aware, be safe out there.